excuse would be the perfect thing to cool down with. Just saying. Um, speaking of which, we seem to keep missing out on the discount grape juice at Dawn Winery. Oh, Paimon has a hunch that today will be the day. If we leave right now, maybe we'll get there in time. Shall we get going? Good day to you both. It's been quite a long time. You're looking well as ever. Hi, Adeline! To what do we owe the honor today? Important business to discuss with Master Diluc, I presume? That's right! Adeline, since we've run into you, maybe we could just get you to help us with this one. We always miss the winery's discount grape juice, so this time we decided to come here early. Can you reserve a bottle for us? We'll pay a deposit. Just name the price. Of course I can, and no deposit necessary. But I'm afraid you might be in for quite a wait. Dawn Winery's discount grape juice takes a long time to make. Every summer, Master Diluc handpicks two barrels of the finest grapes to turn into juice. What? Why sell the good stuff at a low price? Shouldn't the best grapes be the most expensive? Master has never explained his reasoning. If I had to guess, the discount could be a marketing technique. Special deals always attract customers. Perhaps Master hopes to increase the popularity of fruit juice so that people have more options when it comes to drinking. It makes an ideal alternative for the heaviest drinkers because they won't get drunk and start causing mischief. At the same time, those who don't drink alcohol get the chance to try something new. Master Diluc isn't all about money. I think he would prefer to see people drinking in moderation than chase bigger profits at any cost. Imagine if everyone could just enjoy a nice glass of wine and have a good time while keeping their wits about them and not creating trouble for others. <laughs> now wouldn't that be a miracle? Wow, Master Diluc's such a thoughtful guy. So is Diluc picking out this year's grapes right now? Not just yet. He has a few more issues to sort out first. He'll start the process as soon as those are out of the way. If you're interested, I'm sure Master Diluc would be delighted to see you and hear your thoughts. As you know, whenever Master Diluc catches wind of any unsavory guests showing up in Mondstadt, he takes it upon himself to go and <clears throat> greet them in person. It's the same story today. He should be somewhere near Falcon Coast. I'm not sure how long he'll be. In the meantime, would you like to take a seat inside? I have to stay here and wait for some other guests, but Hilly and Mako will be glad to take care of you. Unsavory guests? What is that supposed to mean? Un... But... Paimon won't feel kind of bad if we're sitting in Diluc's house, twiddling our thumbs while he's out there hard at work. Hmm... Let's go to the Falcon Coast and help Diluc sort out his issues. Although Diluc is super strong, surely he'd appreciate a little support. If you're happy to help, that would be wonderful. Master trusts you after all, and you're both very capable. I know he'd appreciate a helping hand. No biggie. The sooner Master Diluc is free, the sooner we can get a taste of that delicious grape juice. <laughs> Come on! Let's go to the Falcon Coast! Is... is that a camp over there? Diluc is camping out in the wild? Huh. This is weird. Hmm... Maybe these enemies are really tough, and it's turned into a long, drawn-out battle. Let's go check it out. Huh. This tent doesn't look like it 
belongs to Diluc. Hmm, maybe it's an adventurer camp. Oh, there's a piece of paper and a notebook over there. Let's read them. Judging by the tone, it seems like this was written by someone Diluc knows well. Let's call him Diluc's friend for now. He saw something bad happen, wrote a note for Master Diluc, and then left. Huh. Isn't that pretty irresponsible? What if someone else had seen it? Also, he left his notebook behind. Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, you know that strange ley line deposit on the beach? Other than that, everything seems fine here. Not a monster in sight. Hmm. Do you want to read Diluc's friend's notebook too? If not, let's head over and take a closer look at the ley line deposit. There are two notes here. Which one shall we start with? didn't follow all that. Uh, but it seemed to be about a previous battle Diluc was in? There are two notes here. Which one shall we start with? It was talking about Albedo. Oh, <gasps> did Diluc write a letter to Albedo? different than usual. Ah, oh, look at him go! So focused and full of energy! So this is Captain Pyro when he's in top form, huh? Hey, you're right! Now that Paimon looks more closely, this Diluc does look younger than usual. But what happened back then? Why is he fighting here? Hmm. Guess we can just ask him about it when we see him. Hmm. What should we do now? Okay, let's see how young Diluc used to fight. Ley line deposit again? And what about young Diluc? 
If it's like the other leyline deposits we've seen, then it should have disappeared now that all the monsters are defeated. No, no! <laughs> Paimon's just a little worried, is all. What if someone passing by gets curious, comes to check it out, then suddenly, yeah! A monster jumps out and clubs him over the head with a swoosh and a smash! That would be terrible! Because it sounds more dangerous that way! Anyway, we came here to help d -Luke, didn't we? So let's stick around a little longer and make sure this place is completely safe before we head back. <laughs> Not really. Paimon just wants some fancy grape juice. Mm. Come on, let's finish what we came for. When we get the grape juice, 